Today you presented an update on the Catalyst for Cure biomarker uh, initiative. Could you give an outline, a uh, basic outline of what your research has been doing in, in, in terms of neural, neurological changes as they relate to um, uh, markers for glaucoma? I'd be happy to. So the Catalyst for Cure initiative is four investigators, a clinician scientist, a biologist, myself, and two people who are specialists in imaging and engineering who have set out to try and find a biomarker that is a readout of ganglion cell health to monitor and treat glaucoma. And so the recent progress that we've made, which is over the last three years, is first of all to bring together these four investigators with diverse expertise aligned towards a singular goal. This is unusual in the research field to bring together people in that fashion. So the four of us got together and started to discuss what, is a, what would be a useful biomarker for glaucoma. And we decided to test the idea that's been around in the field for some time that specific types of ganglion cells may be lost early in the disease as a way to monitor and potentially treat uh, the disease at earlier stages than is currently possible. And so what we've discovered is that there is a so-called canary in the mine, as we call it, a cell type or types that are lost early in the disease. We know this from studies that we've been doing in animals, animal models, where we can specifically label different kinds of ganglion cells using genetic methods. We can make the cells glow. And then using an animal model of glaucoma, we discovered that it's a group of cells, not just one ganglion cell type, but a group of ganglion cell types called the off cells, the cells that respond to decrements in light that seem to be vulnerable early in the disease. These are the cells that are going to go on to die first. Conversely, on-type cells, cells that, ganglion cells that respond to increments in light, those cells seem to be refractory at early stages of the disease. So probing the in functional integrity of the off-cells we think is going to be a very useful bio biomarker in humans for detecting uh, early stages of the disease and the progression. And we're also very interested in the biology of the on-cells, why those cells are so refractory to changes in intraocular pressure. What's special about them? What do they have that allows them to survive so long? It would be wonderful to endow the other cell type, the off-cells, with that same ability. Now, as, as you progress with your research, uh, how far out do you project that maybe some, what your, the outcomes of your research is going to affect the clinician, how, how, how far out will it and what it will mean to glaucoma patients when they see the final, uh, I guess, outcomes of what you're doing? That's a great question. So there's really two levels um, at which I, I can answer that question. The first one is a biomarker or a readout of disease detection and progression. And we're hopeful that that's going to happen in the next three to five years. It's a little hard to predict, of course, because there are various hurdles that one uh, has to go through in order to move things from the laboratory to the clinic. But I should say that this consortium in the CFC effort to find these biomarkers is unique in that we made these discoveries in animal models. We believe that we can probe the functional integrity and the health of these off cells using novel visual field tests. That can be done immediately in humans. And so we're developing those visual field tests now. Now, should those visual field tests be better readouts of the health status of ganglion cells and the progression of the disease than current methods allow, then certainly we would try and move that into the clinic as quickly as possible and get it out there in a widespread fashion as quickly as possible. So I think that the numbers that I threw out, a three to five year span, I think is reasonable. And, and certainly, if we can do it faster, we will. In terms of a cure, now ultimately that's going to boil down to understanding the, the underlying biology of glaucoma, which of course is a neurodegenerative disease. And there the effort might take longer, but a big part of this effort is also to understand the biology and ultimately to have whether or not it's a pill or a visual stimulus or uh, you know, whatever it turns out to be that can preserve the health of those ganglion cells. And so that's a tougher timeline to spell out, but we're certainly not going to stop until we have that in hand. 